First, I want to congratulate Donald on a decisive victory last night. Uh, I look forward to working with uh, President Trump once again. Um, I'm so stupid that I actually forgot what I wanted to say. Seriously, if Chrystia Freeland was a cat, she would be this cat right here. That's how dumb she is. I can't stand hearing her talk anymore. <laughs> Look at Justin Trudeau calling Donald Trump Donald instead of being respectful and saying President Trump. He says Donald so that you think he's actually good friends with him. Apparently, uh, Justin Trudeau's friends with Ivanka Trump. And uh, I, w I don't know if they're good friends, but he talks to her sometimes. And uh, apparently, Donald Trump doesn't dislike Justin Trudeau as much as people would think. So I'm going to try to do some lip reading on this video of Donald Trump and Justin Trudeau having a conversation. Now, I don't know the context of their conversation, so it's going to be hard for me to actually do that. I'm just going to assume the context of, of uh, the conversation. It's something that I guess I learned to do by watching a lot of videos without the audio. But anyways, let's take a look at this clip. So Donald Trump here is going to pretend that he needs to talk to Justin Trudeau to get rid of this guy that he's talking with and then he's just going to leave. He's not going to actually <laughs> talk to Justin. He's just going to leave, which is actually funny. He says, you know this guy? <laughs> you know this guy? Pretends to not know who Justin Trudeau is. Look, he really points him. He's like, you know this guy? And then he'll tap on the back. He says, I'm joking. Justin says, hey, Donald, I don't know if your daughter told you, but we've been talking a lot recently. And uh, when we had this meeting, there were journalists sitting around the table and they took pictures and started rumors. And Donald says, I know, I, I don't care. And then he leaves and he says, uh, between, says um, between you and me, she thinks you're gay. And Justin says, all surprised, why? I'm not gay. Trump turns around and says, anyway. Now, for those of you that are new to the channel, I can't really read on lips. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's not true. But uh, anyways, I hope uh, you found this as funny as I did and uh, find it funny enough to subscribe to the channel. And uh, now let's talk about Keir Starmer, a major hypocrite in the world of politics right now. Has anyone else noticed that a lot of people that were talking smack about Donald Trump or are all of a sudden like friends with him and congratulating him on his decisive election victory. Some people who backstabbed him like Keir Starmer, who's actually talked smack about him in the past. And he actually sent a hundred people from the Labour Party, staff members in the United States to campaign for Kamala Harris. And then he congratulates Donald Trump on his victory. And Keir Starmer, when uh, Boris Johnson was the Prime Minister of uh, the United Kingdom, he actually said an endorsement from Donald Trump tells you everything you need to know about what's wrong with Boris Johnson politics and why he isn't fit to be Prime Minister. When Donald Trump heard that the Labour Party was campaigning for Kamala Harris, he made a complaint because it's illegal to uh, use funds from a foreign entity to campaign for you. The Labour Party says they didn't organize for these staff members to go to the United States and help Kamala Harris. They also said that they didn't pay them to do so and that they were all there on their free time. Sophia Patel, head of operations at the Labour Party, made a post on Twitter which she, she deleted. I have nearly 100 Labour Party staff, current and former, going to the US in the next few weeks heading to North Carolina, Nevada, Pennsylvania and Virginia. I have, ten, I have 10 spots available for anyone available to head to the battleground state of North Carolina. We will sort your housing. Whether they're doing this on their free time or not, why would they be doing this? So they spent money, their pocket money, to leave from the United Kingdom to the United States? If, they were, if they're there on their own time, we will sort your housing. That means they're paying the housing for someone, like hotel, and who's paying for the plane tickets? For them to come from the UK to the United States and then go back. Uh, to the UK. They're obviously not there on their own time. That's a hundred people we're talking about. Get out of here, man. That was clearly election interference.